Hi folks, I'm going to do one more video here on uh, Asteroid 2012 DA14 prior to its close approach next week on February 15th. So we're going to take a look once again at an uncertainty plot of the asteroid's position during the close approach and compare that to the positions of our geostationary satellites. Uh, I did this once before and if you recall there was a slim chance the asteroid could get close to uh, a couple of our geostationary satellites. But at the time we only had uh, a limited amount of astrometric data covering just a few weeks and ending in March. That was the last time the asteroid was seen. Well, on January 11th, Las Campanas Observatory saw it again and gave us some fresh astrometric data. And then yesterday on the 6th, uh, Mount John Observatory also caught sight of it and uh, generated some data. So I've taken those data into account and generated a new uncertainty plot that now covers uh, uses data that covers almost a year of time so we have a much better determination of the orbit now because we have a much longer baseline of observations and so as a result the uncertainty plot is very tight at this point you can see it here uh, it's this blue dot right here and all these labels of all the different Monte Carlo solutions that I generated are bundled together uh, because they now cover a very small uh, area in space so we have a much more certain idea of exactly where the asteroid's going to be during the close approach and we can uh, see how that relates to our satellites so let me step it forward one hour at a time we can see there's still good separation between the uh, possible positions of the asteroid during the close approach and our various satellites and once again you can see that uh, there's now good separation between our satellites and the possible positions of the asteroid and there's even more separation between the possible positions of the asteroid and Earth so there's no possibility of impact with Earth and now we know there's no possibility of impact with our geostationary satellites they are in the clear so that's good news and uh, we now have a much more certain determination of the asteroids position even after the close approach the uh, the uncertainty plot does not diverge that much it stays pretty stable so that tells us we have a, a very good solution for the orbit of this asteroid and as a result uh, JPL is actually taking it off their list of potential uh, threats there are no uh, possibilities of impact anytime in the foreseeable future for this asteroid so with that I uh, wish you all a uh, pleasant evening